Kevin here. And where am I today? Well, I'm not in my own West Sussex or County West Sussex. As I've um, been driving across the country, I'm actually in Northamptonshire. And I'm in a place called Wappenham. W-A-P-P-E-N-H-A-M. And I'm outside of St Mary the Virgin Church. Let me just open this gate up and go in. And there is a family connection to Wappenham. And that is my four times great grandfather was born here, William. And my three times great grandfather, Thomas, was born here. Um, four times great grandfather, 1795. Um, and his son Thomas, and Thomas lived here for a while, became a plasterer by trade, and then ma made his way up to Nottingham, where he lived and, and married two ladies. So this is the church, and it dates from about the 13th century. It mostly dates from the 13th century, and Early, early 14th century. And as you can see, we're right outside the porch on the, the north side of the church. We've got a very strange noise away somewhere. It sounds like a plane or something. So I'm right by the side of the tower, and the tower is huge. Let me just tilt this up and show you. Just an amazing tower. The tower contains a peal of six bells. We've got a oh, cable going right across there. Let's just, just see if I can back away a little bit to try and get some of this west end of the church in. And you can see the tower from the, from the west end. Um, the bells, three of which were cast in, or uh, between 1590 and 1620. I'll just wander around this way. As you can see, it's all made of stone. Huge buttresses on the, on the west end of the, of the square tower. The, um, the one-handed clock is, is um, almost certainly Elizabethan from the research that I've done. That's what I... Hi. Hello there, sorry. Right, so we're now coming round to the south side of the church, very carefully coming between some graves and a rear porch of this uh, St. Mary's Church. Well, a gentleman that um, I walked across the front of just a moment ago, um, I was just saying to him that somewhere in this churchyard is the, the headstone of my four times great-grandfather, William Hall. And he's just said probably the only person that could have helped me to find it um, sadly died about five years ago. And she had been round and done every headstone in here with, um, with rubbing. So that's very sad to hear that. But as you can see, it's leaded light windows all the way around the church. And they've got these rather deep um, gullies for the rainwater which is all collected from the, the down pipes. So let me just come over here. Um, it would have been lovely to have found William's headstone, but that's not going to happen, I don't think, which is a shame. So I'm at the east end of the church now. 
and it's the, this end is put the glass is protected. Wappenham is actually in the south of Northamptonshire um, and date ba dates back about 1200 years. In the Middle Ages, um, Wappenham was a forest village subject to the laws and privileges um, with direct connection to the king. So we're at the, as I say, the east end now. A few more headstones here. I want to try and get into the church. Hopefully there's some lights there. A job. Because all the headstones are sa um, the sandstone, they get very badly affected by the weather and the lichen. As you can see, there's, there's got double headstones on some of them. Some of them you can just about make out, but some of the others you can't read at all, which is such a shame. Well, I've come inside the church now, and as I mentioned, the doors are very, very heavy, and it was almost closing back on me as I pushed it open. But it's got stone mullions all the way round, and I'm on the north aisle at the moment with these rather lovely plaques on the wall with different things on them. And here for the king and country, the role of honours of, of the men that fought in uh, the Great War. And as I just pan round, there's the, the uh, pulpit just in front of me with some lovely carving on the side there, all the way round, which is rather nice. There's some sort of perhaps sort of like ivy leaves. So now I'm looking up towards the east end of the church and the beautiful window with the lovely stained glass window there. I think that's from possibly one of the best ones I've seen for a long time. And I can't actually walk into the area, completely into the area. We've got a, the barrier down there, and that's the altar. Very plain looking altar with a couple of candlesticks on there and a small cross. Doorway over there, possibly into the vestry. Let me just come back round. A huge archway here. Huge, absolutely huge. But the walls are, I'm not sure if they're painted or if it's just render work. Just over here, let me go around. Uh, there's two fonts actually, rather interestingly. And I don't have any information about the fonts at all. This one, as you can see, is very, very old. Look at the way it's all worn down. That must have been outside at some time, I would have thought. And we've got a little piscina there. And we've got the organ just in front of me. And these are the big doors on the south side of the church. So I'm in the, the south aisle now. And just here is the second font. The gentleman's just been in and got some Christmas tree lights on. But we've got one, two, three arches. Uh, separating the central cent central aisle from the south and north uh, north aisles and just in these big doorways with the glass above is the ropes you can't quite see them down through there i don't think for the peal of six bells but the, the stonework is huge huge lumps of stonework and there's a 
a painting there that someone has done. So I'm in this church and I'm thinking to myself now that my family, my ancestors would have frequented this very church or of course they may have gone to the chapel that's in Wappenham. It would, would have been lovely to have found that out. But Wappenham has got a connection with um, Gilbert, Sir Gilbert Scott. Um, and he's re the, the renowned, celebrated Victorian architect. Uh, and he was responsible for the Albert Hall, the Midlands Hotel, and St Pancras Station, and the Foreign Office. Here in Wappenham, I believe, um, there are at least six buildings uh, designed by him, including the old rectory, which is around about 1833, the village school, about 1860, I think, um, which is now the village hall. So apart from the, you know, the, the plaques and, and, uh, and things like that, it's a fairly plain looking church, but some of these pews are very old, I think. Probably, the, they must be all original. These look here, these ones on this side, look decidedly more weathered and worn than those down the middle. Now, I don't know whether it could be to do with the atmosphere, because they're all built exactly the same, but it's much colder on the south side than it is in the rest of the church, or at least it feels it to me. And these are much, much better worn. That's rather interesting. You've got a a tiled black and, and red tiled floor on the uh, on the aisles. The light is. I'm hoping this bit is picked up because it's quite. Although the lights have been turned on for me, they are. Um, it's rather dark, and just up there are some atropaic marks on that stone. And I'm always looking forward though, look, looking for those now. In fact, this whole wall, and the reason why that door closes is the whole wall on the north side is leaning out, which is rather disturbing. And there's an artist's impression of what the church looks like for that. Beautiful, beautifully done. Just have a look around these other windows and see if there are any more atropate marks. No, I can't see any. Oh, there is there's a few on that bottom stonework there, look. Just one more quick turn round inside here and then I will uh, head out. Oh, one thing I would like to point out, actually something I've completely forgotten out, which is something I always do, I always look for, the timbers in the roof. Just look at those. The cross beams are absolutely huge. They've got to be about 18 inches square. Absolutely huge timbers up there. And these are the same look. Incredible. And the tiles, the roof tiles, are actually onto um, boarded roof, um, internal boarded ceiling. So as I walk out towards the, the doors, just wander out through here. into the porch and back outside. Hello, this is Kevin. 
And if you've enjoyed the video that you've watched today or tonight, whatever it might be, please follow, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.